Hey guys, I'm putting an intro into this video because all the clips are just us like freaking out and so excited because it was like the best day of our lives. Me and my friend Karina, who I met here in Hawaii, we met because of the Sunrise Shack. Sorry if I'm talking quiet, I'm in public and there's nobody around but I'm still kind of scared. We met through the Sunrise Shack and then so we had that in common. Then we started talking about Cole Rothman, which if you don't know, he's a surfer from the North Shore. He makes videos, you should check him out. They're like really awesome, but we both just love them. We also said the first day we met, we were like, we're gonna go to surf competition, we're gonna see him surf, we're gonna see all these different surfers. Like it was like our goal here in Hawaii. There's a loud truck. Just kidding, it's a tractor. It's Saturday now, Thursday was the Eddie Aikau surf opening ceremony for the competition. It's a big wave surf competition, very special here in Hawaii. Cole was gonna be there and all these other surfers were gonna be there. Kelly Slater, John John Florence, Nathan Florence, Eli Olsen, all of them. Like we were like, are you kidding? We have to go. So the Sunrise Shack over on the North Shore, like the original one, went there, ate there. And as you'll see in the clips, met uh, Eddie Rothman, which is Cole Rothman and Makua Rothman's dad. And he's like a legend of his own. Met him, met uh, Koa Smith, who is one of the founders of the Sunrise Shack. Just met all the people that we like look up to here in Hawaii. And it was in one day. So yeah, so that's basically the preface of this video. Enjoy these clips. They might be a little sporadic, but they're cool and they're memories. And I hope you guys enjoy them. And this, that was what life is like here in Hawaii. It's just amazing. Thank you to Karina for the GoPro clips. So yeah, enjoy the video. Hey guys, this is my friend Karina. She hasn't been on the vlog yet, but um, we just got off of. Oh, she's tall. We just got off. Oh, she's tall. A three, like a three-hour bus ride to come all the way down to North Shore from Honolulu because she's never been to the Sunrise Shack and she loves Koa just like how I love Koa. We took a three-hour-long road trip thing. Yeah. So we're at the Sunrise Shack now, and I'm so excited. We're gonna go watch the Eddie like ceremony and all that. So we're gonna take you guys with you. It's gonna be great. With us. With us. <laughs> with us. Should we cross the street? Alright, bye. <laughs> Karina. <laughs> hey guys. We just. Okay, that's not ours. Not ours. <laughs> I just met Cohen Smith. Oh my god. Insert picture here. Um, <laughs> literally, I am peeing my pants. I am so excited. I know who he is. He, he's one of the founders of Sunrise Shack. Cole Rothman's like this. He, you know. Yeah. The um, Smith Brothers, you know. Mm -hmm. the They're good too. <laughs> Watch them. Like, the legend. Like, the person that like, I grew up hearing about. Like, freaking Eddie <laughs> Flippin Rothman. Yeah. Cohen's dad is here. Cohen's dad. Colin Makua and like Lono's dad is here. He was like the founder of like the booty, which is like such an important like foundation on the North Shore and just for like culture here. So it's like the fact that that man is like in the presence. And like he's so intimidating, like I would never go up to him. He's so scary. <laughs> but like that's Koa's dad. Which like is awesome. and then Koa Smith. Awesome. Yeah, Koa Smith said he liked our shirts. So I was like, oh my god, we're wearing it. This is living merch. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Right we here. have the same shirt on, it's great. Yeah, um yeah, so, so we'll cute. update you guys when we get our food. So oh my god. It so is women. <laughs> We just met. Oh, we sound like, like total fangirls. We but are. It was a really humbling moment. We just, we just met Koa's dad. Hey. Like me, Eddie oh, Rothman. He approved of Grace's major. I changed. Like, update. I changed. Oh, it's real windy. I changed my major to um, kinesiology, and he asked what I'm doing. He approved. So, so happy about that. We were walking away, and then Karina's like, "Oh, let me take a picture of Flower because it was cute." Yeah. And we heard him talking about us to like people yeah. he was sitting yeah. with. And then he, he was said, like, "We're such nice girls." Yeah, he's like, "Those young ladies." I was like, Koa's dad just said I'm nice. I know, and we he was like, name. what was your names again? Like, he knows our names. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh my gosh, anyways. Okay, that means that if Koa, that if we meet Koa and we're like, okay, tell your dad. Say no, hi. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we're waiting for the bus right now to head over to Waimea. Yeah. We'll walk to you guys things. when we get there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then I got an avocado stain on my shirt. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's our life. Yeah.
Hey guys, quick update. I'm doing this very discreetly, but uh, we got to Waimea and we went down to the beach, had an impromptu photo shoot. Insert photos here, they were good. And I'll show you the ceremony, all right, bye. <laughs> Okay. And keep up with the likes of Cole Rothman and the Florence Brothers. Sincere congrats to first time invitee, North Shore resident Eli Olsen. Oh, this is living. Check out This Is Living and you'll know why he's an invitee. As a 22-year-old, he more than held his own in the 2618. Let's hear it for Cole Rothman. He was just 19 when he was... Let's hear it for 35-year-old Makua Kai Rothman. There's that proverbial old saying, no guts, no glory, you got to pay your taxes. Go to YouTube and check out this guy's 2019 Wipeout of the Year at Cloud Breakers. Or shall I say, most experienced competitor on tour. Here at the Bay, he's just one of the boys. New goal for you, Kelly. You only need 20 more years to beat Clyde's age 66 go out in the Eddy. Another record for you to consider. Here's something I've never said before at this presentation over all these years. Two of our competitors have a shot at making the U.S. Olympic team, and he's one of them. Yeah. The winner of the 2002, Eddie, and the greatest of all time, Kelly Slater. <laughs> a few of his achievements. A Dahui Backdoor Shootout Champ, a two-time Volcom Pipe Pro Champ, a three-time Triple Crown of Surfing winner, a two-time WCT World Champion, and the other guy here who can possibly make the 2020 U.S. Olympic team for surfing. In 2016, the winner of the most recent Eddie Big Wave Invitational lives here for John John Florida. We could potentially be on the wall. Yeah. Guys, we made it in the vlog. That's all I gotta say. Roll the clip, hit play. Here we go. Y'all gotta see this. Yeah, check it out. Hey! Hi guys. Oh, okay. And Jack too. Jack yeah. Thank you so much. Thank I you. gotta run out there. That really happened. I know. All right. Continue. Yeah, he was like, hey, Dad, Dad, look. <laughs> Hey 
right, guys, so we're heading towards the bus right now. We're done, had a successful day, but guess what? We just met Kelly Slater. Dude. Like, like Kelly Slater. It's, He's like, where are you from? And I was like, Huntington. I'm like 20 minutes Kelly from Huntington, but still, you have to say girl. Huntington. Kelly Slater just asked me a question. You gotta give a good answer. Yeah, Checked off our bucket list today. But look how cute this bridge is. Oh my gosh, I know. Like, just, just there you go. Down. Yeah. There we go. We love we love a good bridge. So yeah, so we're done for the day. We need to find our way. We're bus gonna get back on so the bus. So we don't get lost. So find yeah. our way back. See you later. Yeah. That was unreal. That was insane. I have no words. I'm still in shock. Besides meeting all the amazing surfers that we met, experience in general was just unreal. I'm so dumb. But just the vibe in the air, you can't feel that anywhere except here. On but not even in Honolulu, like on the North Shore. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was literally one of my favorite memories of Hawaii and it's gonna be one of my favorite memories, like forever. Yo, go check out Koa's channel because he's awesome. Moral of the video, if you ever have a chance to come to Hawaii, I would recommend going to the Eddie Aikau competition and the opening ceremony because it is a life-changing experience. And I've said that a lot about Hawaii, but like it really is. And I'm not just saying that to be like cliche and oh my God, life-changing, but it really is. If you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.